Hello and welcome to the lecture series on Indian economics for civil services. In today's class, I'll be talking about the definition of economics. So any discipline or the study of any discipline for that matter starts with defining it and economics is no exception. So before we start getting a hang of what economics is and establish a working definition of the same, I will give you two already established and internationally acclaimed definition of economics. So let's get started. The first definition is talking about economics is the study of how societies use scarce resources or limited resources to produce valuable commodities or goods or services and distribute them among different people. So here the key idea is a about goods are scarce that is the scarcity of goods per se which are being uh, uh, produced and the second is the resources which are scarce need to be used efficiently. Let us look at this with the help of an example. Let us look at this with an help of example which is land. We know that the land area is limited as far as the, uh, the surface of the earth is concerned and this also has certain alternative uses. For example, it can be used for something called as housing or it can be used for something called as cropping or agriculture. It can also be used for something called as infrastructural development in a sense that roadways, railways, highways, etc. So there are different uses to this scarce resource which will be used to produce a commodity which will be scarce as well. So this is this definition is talking about how a society uses scarce resources efficiently obviously you have limited resource which is land you have to use that efficiently such that such that it produces valuable commodities and that commodities can be distributed among different people so i hope the idea is pretty much clear about what the first internationally established or acclaimed definition is talking about economics in terms of scarce resources which can be used to produce valuable commodities and distribute them among different people across nations and, and across humanity. Let us now look at the second sense of economics. Second sense is talking about economic studies, how individuals, firms, governments and other organizations within our society make choices. Here I'm looking at making choices and how these choices determine society's use of its resources. Now here I'm talking about choices, how I have to go down to something called as choices because the key underlying idea here is about limited or scarce resources, furthermore unlimited human wants. So here firms as well as individuals as well as governments and other organizations in our society are representing different wants. So the wants are unlimited and the underlying resources which we have as we saw in the previous case that in case of land we have limited resources and there is something called as making choice as to the uh, use or the optimum use of that particular resource, whether I should be using the land for agriculture or for housing or for something else, because the land has n number of uses, human wants are unlimited, but the effective size of the land is limited or scarce. So therefore, the choices which the society make determine its use of its resources. So therefore, the key underlying ideas in this definition is with respect to scarcity of resources as well as unlimited human wants and these two work at play to lead to something called as the choice. These two will help the society to make choices and how these choices determine society's use of the resources. So I hope both the ideas, one was in terms of the goods are scarce as well as resources needs to be used efficiently. In that sense, that means economic studies, how societies use the scarce resources to produce valuable commodities and then distribute these commodities among people or individuals. And on the contrary, here I'm looking at firms, individual society, uh, individuals, households, etc., government, other organizations, all of them within our society make choices and how these choices determine the society's use of any particular resource. So this is how we can look at economics from the acclaimed or established definitions. So this is what the definition of economics is. In the next classes, we will look at the working definition of economics. So please stay tuned. Thank you.